so this is um, 6.1, part 2, and we're looking at example 2. So what we've done in the past, we've taken a look at bank accounts and fees. Now we're going to take a look at a bank uh, account, and we're going to take a look at the transactions, each transaction, over a period of a month. And then we're going to, we're going to track the balance, and then we're going to see how many, uh, what the fees are that are owed. Okay? So... All right, so we can see this. Now, the balance, this column is not filled out here, right? But obviously, this balance is going to change from here. With a, a withdrawal is when money's taken out. You guys know that. A deposit is when money's put in. So there's a, a separate column for withdrawals and deposits. So these withdrawals would be like taking away. These are all subtraction, right? So they're all subtraction, all of these. The deposits would be adding. So that's like a, a we've got a birthday gift there, and we've got a paycheck for this person's got a job, so there's a couple paychecks there. Okay, so from the balance, that's what they start off with at the beginning of the month. That's what's in the bank account. And then there's all this money that gets taken out, and there's something that gets put back in, and then a bunch of gets taken out, a bunch of gets put back in, out, in, out. Okay? So the first question says, how much will Onani pay in extra transaction fees. Okay, so this is a value account. Okay, and so let's take a look and and count the different types of transactions. Okay, so you'll notice that Onani made 12 self-service transactions. So let's see if we can find those. Okay, ATM. Okay, there's one. Um, uh, here's one from the bank. Okay, uh, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one, uh, one there, there, and there, and then teller. So let's see, self-service. Now the ATM from a, a non-Northwest bank, does that count as a self-service? Well, let's see. There's, it says there's 12s, and it says one of which was a non-Northwest bank. So yeah, any ATM use, even if it's from a different bank, is considered one of those self-service transactions. So let's see, do we have 12 here now? One, two, three. Oh, we didn't do these bank card ones. Bank card, bank card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so we've got those highlighted in blue. So ATMs, using your bank card, automatic withdrawal, direct deposit for checks, all of those would be considered self-service transactions. All right. So the one that's from the non-Northwest Bank, that's going to be an extra service fee, isn't it? So here it is, 50 cents for the extra transaction. Okay, from the non, from the oh, here's the 150 from the non-Northwest um, Bank ATM. And what's this 50 for? So he has 10 free self-service transactions. He'll pay 50 cents uh, for one extra transaction. His account's 10. Okay. So, I guess if we look carefully here, all right, so the non-ATM or the non-Northwest Bank ATM, that's actually a separate charge and it's not counted against the self-service. So this one, I thought I counted 12. One, two, three, four, five, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay. So take away this one you have 11. So there's 11 self-service transactions at the bank. Okay? This one is a different one. So that one's not included, the non-ATM, the non-bank ATM one. So he's got 50 cents for one extra transaction, and then this is uh, 150 here. Okay? Is everyone following me there so far? So he's got 50 cents and a 150. Okay? Um, he made two teller assisted transactions. So that's these ones. Let's put these ones in maybe gray. So there's a teller and a teller. And according to that, that chart there, the teller assisted are $1 each. So we've got $150, we've got $50, and then we've got $2. Does this making sense? This is what you guys are going to have to be doing now with some questions on your own, okay? So that's, so that's the count. Let's see now. Service charges. So if we add all those up, you should get four dollars. Four dollars in transaction fees. Okay. Now, how do we know about the minimum balance? What's the balance at the end of the month? Okay. 
Well, at the end of the month, what we can do is start with this number and then take away all of these numbers that are minus and add up all of these numbers that are plus. Right? So if we did that, and I'll just save us some time here, but we would just get on the calculator and you would just, you know, you would type in 4398.40 minus 100, minus 40, minus 12.95, minus, and so on. Then you could do plus 50, minus 62. So just keep going down the list. And that'll give you a total balance at the end here. So in this, of course this is already done for us as an example. So uh, in B here, at the end of the month, looks like this is the amount at the end of the month. Okay? So, um, that's the end of the month, but here's the thing. To find out if he ever got below the $1,000 mark, what we'd have to do is we'd have to find out what the value is kind of at each stage here. So that's why all of these lines are filled in this example. So if we go back to this page, you can get the balance at the end of the month, but how do we know if he actually dips below a thousand, right? How do we know if it's uh, less than a thousand dollars? How do we know? Well, what you'd have to do is you'd have to do each line. So instead of doing all these calculations at once, you just have to do them one at a time and mark down the uh, amount. So that's this is what it looks like. So we do 43.98 on your calculator. You would do, let's clear that up, 4398.40. And you would, the first one is subtract $100. Okay? So that's going to give us, uh, sorry, that's going to give us a value of 42.9840. Ooh, what was that? Wow. Okay. Where at which I'll use this pen. So that's going to be 429840. Alright, and then you keep subtracting, so you subtract 40. 40 to 5840. Subtract 1295. And do that each line. And then you can check to see at each row, for each row, if it ever got below the 1000 mark. See, if you did all of it all at once, you would only know the beginning and the end. You wouldn't know the values along the way. And so that, trend, that service fee, or that um, account fee, if it, if it goes below a thousand at any point, we have to know that. So that's why you have to do each line at a time, okay? Does that make sense? So yeah, here you go. So you do all this sort of stuff and so on. Now they've included all the fees at each time here, okay? So that's a that's a pretty good idea as well because you do get charged those at the time. So if you're at all close to a thousand bucks, you have to make sure you check to see what the, what that fee is. So this one, the fee here is calculated at this time. And where's another one? Teller assisted. See that? And another. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's the service fee for the eleventh transaction here. And then here's the teller fee. So you have to keep in mind those fees as well. Okay? So it gets a little bit a little bit more complicated. Alright, so I think we're going to be able to practice this. So let's practice here. Okay? So this is question number four on build your skills. And I want you to follow along. Let's do this together. Okay? So we'll use the Northwest Bank of Canada service package table um, to answer these questions. Fill in the balance column and calculate um, Mitra's balance at the end of the month if she has a full service account. Okay, so let's go back and remind ourselves what a full service account is. And I feel like I'm going to want to maybe just copy this, right? And uh, let's bring it over to the page that we're working on, which is where? Right here, okay. So I am going to put this, can I put that there? Eh, kind of goes down, oh well. Nope. Oh. Doesn't like, oh it doesn't want to come up into the, <laughs> okay. All right, well we can, we can just scroll down if we need to, okay. So let's see, full service, right? Full service, okay, so what's the full service look like? It's this, this column right here. So the monthly fee is 24.50, but if you have a balance that's always above $2,000, 
then you're good to go. You don't have to pay that. 40 self-service uh, teller or teller assisted. So there's virtually no fees. I don't think she's going to hit 40. Um, okay, additional transactions. Okay. No charge for non-Northwest Bank ATMs. Okay, so we have that in mind. Let's go ahead and start to work through this. Okay. So for number four, four so she starts with 1798, right? 1798. And there's a direct deposit, a paycheck of $1,432.51. Okay. So what are we going to do here? This is a deposit, right? So we need to add this up, correct? So go ahead and do that on your calculator there. Okay, so uh, for the first first row there, you've got the initial balance 1798.53, and you add together with that the deposit of 1432.51, and do you get 3231.04? Okay. 3231.04. So that's where um, Mitra, I don't know if that's a guy or a girl, but <laughs> I'm going to say, what do you think that is, guy or girl, Mitra? Do you know, do you know that name? I'm going to say it's a girl. Okay. Sorry if anyone's out there named Mitra that is a boy. Anyways. All right, so um, what's this? A withdrawal. Okay, so withdrawals, remember, are minus. So let's take away, you can just use that previous answer. Take away 200 bucks. What do you get? 30.31.04. So are there any extra fees though attached with that? I don't think so. I don't think so. So what we could do ahead of time is look through this list, guys, and we could just see if there's going to be any extra fees that come along with any of these transactions. So bank card to all withdrawal bank card. It doesn't look doesn't look like there's going to be any fees really, I don't think, hey? Any extra fees? Because there's like 40 transactions or something crazy like that that are covered, right? 40 self-service or teller-assisted bank card, etc. So those should be good. All right. So then again, take that uh, take that number again and subtract 63.95. So 29.6709. Okay. Uh, use the bank card to buy clothes, and so on. Okay, so why don't you take uh, why don't you take some time? I know you guys have been working ahead a little bit already. Take some time to fill in each row on the balance sheet for this month. Okay, and uh, we'll compare some numbers in a in a minute. So take a minute to work on that. All right. So um, again, as we can see here, what we're doing is we're tracking. The, um, tracking the balance of this particular account all the way through each transaction and um, we are in this particular account all of these transactions are covered with the um, covered with the monthly fee and we won't have to pay that fee if we stay over what? What does it say here? So this full service account it ha we have to be over two thousand dollars the entire month so by doing each line at a time, subtracting each little thing, we can see if we stay over, or if this person stays over $2,000. So is there any line where it's less than $2,000? Doesn't look like it. So did you guys get this number at the very end? Whoops, 27.99.97? Yeah. yeah, okay. So are, are there any fees that we're missing here? So again, for this full service account, this fee is waived, we've got less than 40, service or self-service or teller assisted um, so we don't have to pay any extra fees okay so looks like um, balance at the end of the month if she has a full service account so it looks like it's 27.99.97 does that sound right 27.99.97 okay so that's her balance at the end of the month so again Make sure you go through, and if you if if there's an account where there's service charges, you might want to uh, make sure you subtract those at the time that they're due, not at the very end, because that could affect the overall balance mid month. All right, so this is your chance here now. So you've got number five and number six. Okay, number five and number six. 
I want you to work on right now. There's number five. This one's with a value account. And what is the total at the end of the month here? Now be careful of some bank fees. Do we have any bank fees that we can spy here? ATM cash, bank card, auto deposit, auto payment, bank card, ATM. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like these are all, there's under 10, right, for this value account, so no service fees there. So we just have to take a look at the balance. Look at this balance, where it's starting from. Less than 1,000 right at the very beginning. So if you take a peek at, you know, the uh, description there, the value account, okay, so if we're less than 1,000, guess what? We have to include that fee. Okay, so include that at the end of the month. Okay? Okay, so you guys go ahead and do five and six. Give me some time to do that. If you can. Okay, so um, the, here's, uh, here's the solutions for number five and for number six. So for number five, there's no transaction fees per se, but because the balance was less than a thousand, there is that 390 fee. So I think a lot of you got this number already uh, for number five. And then for number six, this is a savings account, so the first two transactions, there's no cost, but for every transaction after that, there's a, another 125 cost there, okay? So make sure that you're including that at each stage, and this is what your numbers should look like. Um, and then, so 62681 is what um, yeah, is left at the end of the month here for Noah.